Hi, today we're going to make split peas coconut pudding and today the main ingredient is split peas and coconut milk. So for the split peas, I've put them in the pan and I've put sufficient water to cover it on top so that it's all covered with water and I've put them in the pan to soak for 4 hours. Now I'm going to simmer the split peas for approximately 10 minutes. You can try taking your split peas out to see if it's soft enough. Then we're going to strain the split peas. So in a bowl we're going to pour 100 millilitres of coconut milk and then we're going to put 80 millilitres of evaporated milk and then 100 grams of cornstarch into the milk mixture make a thick mixture make a thick mixture make sure there's no lumps then I'm using the same pot and I'm going to pour 300 millilitres of water. And then I've got here 35 grams of sugar. And we're going to bring to the boil. Once the pot has come to the boil, make sure that the sugar is all dissolved. You can stir it a bit more. Make sure all the sugar gets dissolved. And then we'll wait for it to come to the boil again. Then the milk mixture that we've made before, we get ready to pour that in. Make sure that the milk mixture is in a smooth texture before pouring in, otherwise we're gonna get lumps in, in the pudding. sugar mixtures in the boil so we're going to slowly pour the milk mixture in while stirring to ensure that there's no lumps and that's a smooth pasture and we'll slowly see the water will thicken up the more it boils the more the pasture is going to thicken up and we want it to be a consistency that's big enough that I'll, that I'll set into a pudding. So as you can see it's starting to thicken up now. The mixture is about to thicken and we can turn it down and slowly pour the split peas in. Okay, we're going to quickly transfer this into the container before it starts setting. I've switched it off and then we're going to pour it in. You can see it's already a thick paste already, so quickly pour it all in. I'm using a rectangular container. You can use any containers you like, but you need to be quick before it starts setting quickly. So I've poured it all in, just move it out. Make sure that it's flat and all ends and making sure there's no air in it. It's gonna set quite quickly, so we need to be quite quick on this. So I'm gonna like, make sure that it's set properly by banging it a little bit to make sure there's no air inside and that's flat. So leave it in room temperature until it cools down. And once it's cooled down, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator once this is set, we can put it in the refrigerator for approximately an hour or more depending on how we like, but it should be set in approximately one hour. 